Hey, good morning, everybody. It is great to be with you on this absolutely beautiful Sunday morning. It's the morning briefing right here on Friedman Adventures. Boy, we have got so much to cover with you. I mean, there's swordfish cruising around here in Southern California. The kelp patty action is outstanding. We'll take you down to Mexico where things are biting really, really well. It is really, we've hit our stride in Southern California, Northern Baja sport fishing, and I'll give you all the details and so much more right now. Hey, I'm down here on the beach as usual, and I'll tell you, there's a whole bunch of guys surf fishing here this morning because the guys from Island Fishing Tackle in Carson, California, Sam De La Torre and all of his staff and friends are down here catching a few fish and having a really beautiful morning. My friend Bob Givert has joined all those guys and they are having lots of fun. I just saw one of the guys with a little small Corvina, but what the heck, coming down to the surf and surf fishing is not always about catching fish. It can be about just experiencing a lovely, beautiful, it's already warm Southern California morning at the beach. All right, enough of that. I know you're not tuning in here for the weather report, but I did want to say hello to Sam and hopefully by the time I finish here, he'll jump in to the morning briefing with me. It'd be great to have him here. Grunion Run, the last one of this little four night run will occur tonight. It's gonna to be quite late in the evening. I wouldn't even think about coming down to the beach till about one o'clock in the morning. I came back from the Orange County Fair where I bartended last night and it was, oh, pushing two o'clock in the morning. And I said to myself, you know, I really should walk out there and see if there are any grunion and promptly forgot and went to bed. <laughs> I was pretty tired, so I missed that. I'm hoping that some of you got to experience that grunion run. One of the things that happens with the grunion run, of course, they're laying eggs here in the surf and sandworms, which are an extraordinarily great surf bait, feed on those eggs. And just a moment ago, John from Island Fishing Tackle was saying, hey, where are the sand crabs? We can't find any sand crabs. I said, hey, find some sandworms. So he dug for a minute and all of a sudden had two worms, three worms. So he figured it out. And that is always something you can do. All right, down to Ensenada we go. Pongaro's down there. I love to talk about my friends down there. Hard working guys of Baja California, Norte and Ensenada. One of them is a guy named Arnie Mann. And take a look, that's on his ponga. He's been doing good. Arnie says the kelps are loaded now. They've been fishing bluefin down there, trolling the Mad Mac lures. They're transitioning, however, to the kelps where there's Dorado, yellowtail, yellowfin tuna, there's bluefin tuna. It's a smorgasbord of fish that we normally don't see until a little bit later on in the fall. Warm water species, as we have more warm water flushing up the Baja coast and along with it, all of those different great species. And they are chewing for the Ensenada guys as well as many others. So there's still a good chance if you want to catch a bluefin tuna, you troll around with the Mad Max, but man, you find the right kelp and it is game on on Dorado. Yellowtail, and as I mentioned, yellowfin and bluefin are in the picture also. Who knows? If so, I mean, it just seems like the kind of year where something crazy is going to happen. Somebody's going to be trolling one of those Mad Max and a Wahoo or something incredible is going to happen because it's got that feel. I mean, this is going to go on for a while now. It's game on. The kelp patty fishing is extraordinarily good right now. And it just seems like it's gonna get better and better and better. As we move into the fall, we get our best weather months and we have more warm water flush up the coast. Does that mean no albacore? Uh, no. I mean, there's still that cool water out there, but as I mentioned to you yesterday, there were some long range boats out right around that cool water. I know they went out there and looked at it. They had to, those guys way more knowledgeable than yours truly. They know what they're looking at and I, no reports about that. So it is my prediction is going up in smoke or down in smoke or whatever it is. It's not looking really, really good right now, but we'll keep our eyes on it. All right, let me also remind you all that the boats in San Diego are also all over this kill patty action. And man, are they having some great fishing. And the Oceanside 95, Rick Slavkin, good friend of mine. I haven't seen Rick for a little while. I, rode by his rig the other day when I was leaving 
on board the Malahini and shot a little video of it. Rick had a fantastic 1.75 day trip with 138 yellowtail and 87 flatheads. Good bite on the Dorado. And we've been looking at that Dorado for quite some time. It doesn't bite all that well, but it's starting to kick into gear as evidence by that really fine score on the Oceanside 95, which now is out of Point Loma sport fishing. Rick, good morning to you, my friend. Wish you the best the rest of this season. Hope to fish with you really, really soon. Pacific Islander, a 1.5 day trip. Excellent fishing on the Yellowtail. Wide open, Sea Adventure, 2.5 day trip. 200 Yellowtail, 15 Yellowfin tuna. We have been seeing that Yellowfin for quite some time. It has yet to really turn on. We're starting to get a bigger piece of it as it acclimates to our waters. And I suspect that in the next few weeks, we're gonna see that also start to bite. And yellowfin seems for the most part, not right now, obviously, but when it settles in and bites, it is less finicky than bluefin. It really likes to chew and chew with a vengeance. So hopefully we'll see more and more of that. Fish in the kelp. 40 pound fluorocarbon www.opsinusa.com put in fa at checkout and you'll get a free gift and a handwritten note from my friend greg brown so make sure you do that and that floor has been working well you might want to have a rod with 25 pound and if you have a two-speed reel with 100 pound bring it don't leave it at home you never know when you're going to bump into this bluefin because it is still everywhere including catalina up in the channel islands out on the banks, Tanner Cortez, Clemente's got bluefin, and some of it is up there around the 200 pound mark and above. So keep that in mind. As evidence of that, we look at the Navigante out of Redondo. They had a magnificent bluefin tuna fishing trip, 34 bluefin to 160 pounds. How can you beat that? Gary Woodrum, who's a great kid. And of course, he's a deckhand on board the Freedom out of 22nd Street Landing. He jumped on a uh, skiff with his buddy out of Marina Del Rey sport fishing. They went out toward Catalina Island, trolling the Mad Mac, got a jig strike, got that fish, and then got another one on the surface iron right here at Catalina Island, the birth of modern sport fishing. It's like, it's 100 years ago because that's the last time we saw this kind of blue, well, we saw it five years ago but we have seen some incredible stuff going on. Old Glory down there back to San Diego. They had limited yellowtail, 14 Dorado, and the bite goes on and on and on. 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. boats, San Diego, 82 yellowtail, 16 Dorado. How can it get any better than that? It is wide open. You can catch those things, the yellows on surface iron when you roll up on those kelps, and you can also catch a ton of fish by fly lining bait, choosing a really good hot bait, and that is the way to do it. And folks, I've got a special treat for you. Sam, I'm sorry I slept in this morning. Sam De La Torre. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to make breakfast burrito for these guys. How's fishing? A little slow, a little slow. We I'm, got here early, you know? Yeah. Just to, to get out of the house. But, but heck, what a day, huh? Beautiful day. It's gorgeous, yeah, man. Yeah. People are clamoring out there for more tackle dips with you. I know. We got to get know. on that, man. It's been crazy, but yeah, yeah. Definitely the fishing's changed a little bit. You know, the guys are still trolling a bunch of stuff up, but soon they're biting again. So I know. back on the I jigs know. and back to catching fish. You know, it was kind of like just looking at them for a while. Yeah, yeah. All right, Sam, I'm going to let you go back to fish. To are you going to fish some more? Yeah. All right, don't, hey, don't go anywhere when I get finished there. All right. Good to see you. Exactly. Sam De La Torre, Island Fishing Tackle in Carson, California. He's had enough of me. He's going back to fishing right now. How about the San Mateo out of Dana Wharf sword fishing yesterday? Looking at a giant swordfish cruising along the surface. Tried to bait it. It wouldn't bite. They're hard to get to bite on a bait sometimes. And they, the crew kind of agreed that probably a good thing it didn't bite because it was big. We're going to need a bigger boat, kind of big. So big sortie, and that is always really, really good. We've got... Good fishing on Bluefin this morning already, since I'm a little late. Off the west end of Cat, we've got fish on the backside of Cat. It is really game on and biting very, very well. Thunderbird, Davies Locker, Newport Beach, 100 plus on the Yellowtail, 10 Dorado. That stuff, kelp patty stuff, 
is within range of LA Orange County based boats, multi day trips. There is just some evidence that it's going to be so good. And I have to throw in a couple spots left on our final trips of the year. Amigo, August 31st departure, two day trip. Uh, we also have two two day trips on the Pride. Book early, you save some money. And of course, the Malahini out of H&M Landing in San Diego, August 19th. Can't wait for that one. Redemption for us as we had a goose egg on our last trip. Bill Wilkerson and crew worked really, really hard. We couldn't find a kelp. We got into the bluefin. They were too big, lost about six of them. So we're going back there and we're going to make it happen August the 19th. You can find all those charters in the show description today and sign up for one really, really quick. So there is a lot of great offshore stuff going on. And I got to tell you, I love Sam. He's such a great guy. It was good to see him. Let me take you back and start with the islands. We'll go through all the islands with you right now. Down there off of Ensenada is the beautiful island of Todos Santos. And, you know, uh, Arnie, I think it was Arnie, Arnie said, I can take you to Todos Santos and you can surf fish and catch these giant bar perch. I'm going to take him up on that one of these days. Good barracuda, a few yellows, good calico bass. Bring some hard baits like Lucky Crab Lures. That works really, really well for you. I think that could improve your chances. We move you out to the Coronado Islands where it's all about conditions, but it's all about conditions everywhere. You can be at the Great Barrier Reef, and if you don't have good conditions, they're not going to bite. So good conditions, a lot of yellowtail at the Coronado Islands. Barracuda, calico bass are biting also. Move you up to San Clemente Island, still kind of a scratchy yellow bite. At times, it's pretty good, and there's a few sea bass and halibut still to be had, but you're wrestling with sea lions all the time. Calico bass bite, not too shabby. I'll tell you that at times, if you focus on calicos, you can do really, really well. Um, around there, though, I mean, everybody's going to transition quickly to the kelps. And, you know, remember, just the other day, we were talking about kelp patties that are loaded up with Dorado right here off the Dana Wharf area, Dana Point area. And those fish and many more are continuing their upward flush in here. I'm telling you, it's going to be great. Mauricio Lopez, who runs the Clemente, was on our show, did a podcast for two and a half hours with yours truly. Very high about future things to come. And so am I. Catalina Island, uh, you know, mix of Bonita, Barracuda, Bass, that kind of thing. There's tuna right nearby there. The fishing at the island is not wide open, it's scratchy. Every once in a while, you can put a good day together. Not wide open, as I said, uh, but pretty good. I mean, Gale Force limits of Bonita. You also had five yellowtail, most of those yellows in the eight to 12 pound class. Not bad at all. Pretty good little day there. And other boats like the Enterprise and the Pursuit and the Native Sun and on and on and on. Some stop and get you some sculpting so you have some great table fare. And then they pop over to the island. They look at the island. They have the not only a chance, but a probability, I would say, right now. I'm running in the bluefin tuna on the way home. So really fun stuff going on. And I love that. San Nicolas, Santa Barbara, still some sea bass out there. Some guys have been focusing on that, and they are still catching white sea bass as we are almost into August, which is pretty darn incredible. I will tell you that right now. And the Channel Islands, they caught some bluefin tuna. You saw that one, Sean Stewart on board the Aloha Spirit out of Cisco's with some pretty good fishing going on up there in that neck of the woods. They still are getting a piece of the white sea bass up there in that neck of the woods. Uh, Mirage, seven white sea bass yesterday. A couple other guys with similar type scores. Tons of rockfish to back you up. So you got that and they see bluefin up there. So as I say, and you know, I should have told Sam De La Torre, bring a two speed reel with 100 pound when you're surf fishing. You just never know. And of course, I'm being a little facetious, but man, there are bluefin everywhere. And if this light switch goes on any further, it's on in terms of the kelps right now. But man, if that bluefin were to join the party, it could really get incredible. And I mean that sincerely. All right, locally, uh, down there out of San Diego, there was a little bit of a sand bass bite, not that much anymore down there in Sonata area. We still see barracuda along the coast. Good calico bass fishing in the Puna Bond area off La Bufadora. Areas like that, really, really good. You go down there with your Pongaro and bring down some um, fresh dead squid. Woo! It'll be game on down there. You can fish with Arnie. Um, I also, there's Mara sword fishing 
uh, all kinds of guys down there that do a really good black fin. Uh, that comes highly recommended by Albert and Crystal Ponce, who are great friends of mine. So those guys down there are doing pretty well. Move you up the coast, you know, very close to the coast now, 10, 12 miles. You got to get some good water. Hey, another fish down there in the surf. Happy to see it, yeah. Um, where was I? Oh, moving up the coast again. Uh, there's Dorado close. Uh, along the beach, uh, you'll catch Calic bass. A lot of shorts, but not that bad. And then moving up here, there's some barracudas starting to zoom around. Uh, San Pedro Long Beach area again. Hopefully we'll get a bigger piece of it, some calico bass, that kind of thing. And also, as we move you up in the Santa Monica Bay, those guys, Redondo Special, uh, picking at the bass. Sometimes it's pretty darn good. Up there in Marina del Rey, same thing, but they've got rockfish to fall back on also. Up there out of Ventura Sport Fishing, our friend Cody Rogers, who runs the Island Spirit, picked at the barracuda. He's had some really, really wide open barracuda days and then kind of scratchy days like today. 35 guys, 44 barracuda yesterday, I should say. 44 barracuda, conditions were a little squirrely, didn't bite that well. Santa Barbara, good rock fishing up there in that neck of the woods. And in the surf, there's quite a bit of Corvina as evidenced by my son, Philip, who was fishing in Redondo. He said there's a ton of short Corvina over there, but he had this nice big one also. Beautiful fish, Philip, good job. Sand crabs, the way to go. Sandworms, natural baits work so good. And remember, you can sight fish Corvina. You see them before you catch them. You can run up the beach in front of them and toss a bait, present your bait right in front of those little devils and they will bite. There's still some perch being taken in some cooler water up north and also some yellowfin croaker, spotfin croaker, that kind of a thing also. So as I have said, it is totally game on right now in terms of the kelps. It is as good as you could possibly want it. That score on the ocean side 95 is a good one. And the boys down there in Ensenada are getting lots of kelp patty fish also. We are gonna watch all of this for you. And of course the morning briefing will come out every single morning for you all. Show description, it's got our charters. They're gonna sell out here pretty fast because this is some pretty extraordinary fishing. We've had tough fishing on all of our charters, every single one of them. And they were a little early, I guess, because it just wasn't snapping for us. But now we've booked these fall trips and they look good. August 19th is our next one on the Malahini. You have to book with them. The link is in the show description. Hopefully I'll see you on that one. If not, I'll see you on board the Pride or the Amigo as we finish up. I can't believe I'm saying this, by the way. As we finish up 2022, a year that is just zooming by. Maybe I will see some of you tonight at the Orange County Fair. I'll be bartending in Baja Blues. I start at 5 p.m. Hopefully I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you again really, really soon right here on the Morning Briefing. As always, our stats continue to soar. I am so happy to be in the position I'm in, and I owe it all to you. Thanks again, my friends. We'll see you soon. Have a wonderful Sunday.